Hey, it's Diego with Aim True Develop, and today I'm talking about the Nishika N9000, the successor to the Nishika 8000. I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of both cameras, show some photo examples, and just compare the two. If you found this information helpful, make sure to subscribe. I have tons of videos talking about cameras that don't really get talked about. But let's just get into this camera review. As someone who shot both Nashika N8000 and 9000, I can tell you there are some pretty big differences that are worth considering before purchasing either. First and obvious one is both have four lenses. There are other stereo cameras that have two lenses or even three lenses, but I feel like to get the really good wiggle effect, you need four lenses. First difference between the two cameras is the Nashika N8000 has exposed lenses, while the Nashika 9000 has a lens cover. Exposed lenses aren't that big of a deal, it's just something worth noting, but the lens cover does have its functions. If the lens cover is up, it's actually not supposed to trigger the shutter. This is a nice little safety feature that'll stop you from accidentally pushing the shutter down. I've definitely taken some accidental exposures using my Shika N8000. Another difference is the aperture settings. The N9000 has f8 and f16, while the Nishika N8000 has f8, f11, and f19, having a fixed 1 60th of a second shutter. The Nishika N8000 does have a bit more of control. I haven't found an issue while using either. My recommendation for both of these cameras is actually taking photos in direct sunlight, using 400 ISO film, or if you're going to be using more night photography stuff, using a flash and 800 ISO film. A second massive difference is the size difference of either camera. N9000 is much smaller and sleeker, and it has grooves to really fit your hands comfortably into the camera so you don't get fingers inside the lenses. While the N8000 looks really simply designed, it's really easy to recline a finger where the lens protrude out. Trust me when I say I definitely know this from experience. Both of these cameras obviously have the basics, which is a shutter button, a film rewind, and a hot shoe. For either of these cameras, the exposure counter goes up by one for every shot taken. If you have a 24 exposure roll, you rewind at 12. If you have a 36 exposure roll, you rewind at 18. But by far the biggest difference is the viewfinder. N8000 has a really decent sized viewfinder with frame lines. I've shot rolls through both of these and I feel really confident in the framing of the N8000. With a smaller size, you get a smaller viewfinder on the 9000. I definitely feel more confident composing my image with the N8000 because on the N9000, I often find myself guessing if the subject is properly composed. A similarity of both is they are both fully mechanical cameras. Though the 8000 uses two AA batteries, all it does is run a light meter to tell you if you need to use a flash or not. Even when using my Nashika N8000, I don't keep batteries in because I know when to use a flash. Even in situations where it's slightly cloudy, I do recommend using a flash or even in shade. I do often get asked what flash to use. You can literally use any flash. Best advice is to go on eBay, check tested flash, and go buy cheapest. You don't need something big and expensive, just something that works. If I picked this one up on eBay for $10 and it's worked really good so far, no complaints. Probably the last thing to cover is the size of the cameras and weight. Some of you may know the Nishika N8000 has a weight on the bottom that actually gives it a bit of heft. If you do remove it, it does make it a bit easier to carry, but it is still a bit larger of a camera. If you've never actually owned either of these or held them in your hand, you would think they're really sturdy cameras. Actually really simply made with most parts being plastic, so they're both really light cameras. I mean, once you take the weight out of the 8000. But overall, I really like both of these cameras. They're great to add to my collection. Want a slim form factor, really simple and easy to carry camera? I would go with the 9000. Want a camera that's a little bit easier to compose your images and has that brand recognition? I would go with the 8000. Cameras have literally the exact same lenses, and I could not tell you the difference between one taken on one or the other. So if you were to purchase either of these, it genuinely comes down to what you prefer in a camera for the user. Pretty much wraps up my breakdown of both of these cameras. I really enjoy them, and if you're looking into getting into more stereo stuff, I highly recommend either of them. Questions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You can check out my website in the description, aimshootdevelop.com, where I actually have all my social media. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.